And Navika, let me say it unequivocally, the fact that so many Hindu symbols, remnant, shivling, lotuses are found uh, in a mosque is a little like somebody is uh, broadcasting azan uh, from the top of a mosque and suddenly Hanuman Chalisa's verses start coming on. It's a bit like that. Isn't that odd? But, you know, two weeks ago, Navika, on your channel, in fact, on your show, I said that Hindus in this country are second-class citizens. Last week, I apologized. I said I was wrong. Hindus are third-class citizens. And tonight, I apologize again. And I say, Navika, I am so sorry. Hindus are not third-class citizens. Hindus are fourth-class citizens in this country. Let me give you four reasons why I say this. Number one, in no other country is the majority population still refugees in their own land, like five lakh Kashmiri Pandits are, Kashmiri Hindus are for 30 years. In no other country can the sitting Supreme Court judge say that too much time has elapsed and I'm not going to reopen the cases of atrocities against these people who have faced this terrible hardship and exodus. Number two, in no other country is the state and the government rampantly, exclusively controlling only Hindu places of worship and leeching billions of it by leaving mosques, churches and gurdwaras off its tentacles. Number three, in no other country can there be an act that denies blatantly and cruelly the majority population from seeking justice to correct historical injustice and reclaim their own places of worship. And number four, this is the most cruel of all. And this is contemporary, Navika. In no other country can the people professing a faith that says Hindus, i.e. polities, are the worst of creatures continue to offer their prayer and namaz at a place which is clearly built upon a demolished Hindu temple. If this isn't extreme provocation, I don't know what is. First things first, I don't know whether this controversy will be resolved today, tomorrow, in a decade or something, but at least to assuage the sentiments of the Hindus, at least stop offering namaz at that place. Now that you know, even if shivling might be disputed, there are other Hindu remnants that are not, that are beyond dispute. So please, as a, as a sign of good faith, at least stop offering namaz there. But no, this is why I'm saying, I'm having given four reasons, Navika, just 30 seconds, I want to tell you the cruelty that this state institutionally inflicts on the Hindus and Hindus keep quiet, including my good friend Gaurav, who belongs to the world's largest Hindutva party. Let me quote verbatim from the Ayodhya judgment of 2019 of Supreme Court, where it willfully has ratified the Places of Worship Act. I'm quoting from it now. The Place of Worship Act is thus a legislative intervention which preserves non-retrogression as an essential feature of our secular values. It is intrinsically related to the obligations of a secular state. It reflects the commitment of India to the equality of all religions. Secular values, secular state, equality of religion. I'm sorry to say, they might hold me in contempt of court. But I have to say this. My lords, you are calling secular values equality of religion when you are physically preventing a majority Hindus from approaching you to demand justice legally. How can this be equality? How can this be secularism? Yes, uh, Taseen, Taseen, this is the difference between you and me. I answer all questions straight off the bat. To answer your second question first, when you talk about why are you not criticizing BJP, Taseen, please check up previous shows of Navika, especially on Kashmiri Hindus and their plight. I am the first one. I am the biggest critic of this government. In fact, I came up with this number, 15 years. BJP government has been in power in the last 30 years. It has done nothing. So please, you are factually wrong there, my friend. Number two, kudos to auntie, your mother, for displaying syncretic symbols as, and believing in Ganga Jamna Tazi. But just tell me, tell me if I am wrong, Tazi, I promise you, tomorrow I am going to change my name to Gulam Nabi or Ahmadullah or whatever. If Aurangzeb, if Aurangzeb displayed these syncretic symbols, if Aurangzeb displayed a lotus or a shivling, no, he destroyed them, Tessin. 
Please don't bring up false equivalences. So let Your me ask Danish Kureshi. So let me ask. Yes, no, Gaurav, Gaurav ji, ki main bahut kadar karta hu. Ye mere bade bhai ki tarah hai. Lekin jo maine char points rakhe, main ye batana chahta hu. Ho sakta hai all of us like him are waiting for BJP to gain majority. Jaise hi BJP majority mein aayegi, ye sab steps uthane lag jayenge. Lekin jo char points maine rakhe hai Navika, let me reiterate within five seconds. Na, ek ek. एक सेकंड गौरव भाई प्लीज नहीं नहीं और किसी मेजॉरिटी लाएंगे आप बीजेपी के लिए <laughs> बाकी बाकी लोग भी बैठे हैं भाई एंड एंड आप लाएंगे कितने बड़े भाई हैं <laughs> नहीं नहीं लेकिन लेट मी जस्ट आस्क यू व्हाट आर द फोर थिंग्स वी पॉइंटेड आउट इफ देयर यस आई एम जस्ट पॉइंट एग्जैक्टली एग्जैक्टली मैं आपको पॉइंट यस मैं वो या थैंक यू नंबर 1 नंबर 1 5 लाख कश्मीरी पंडित 30 साल से रेफ्यूजीज हैं आपने कोई ऐसी इजरायली लाइक सेटलमेंट नहीं बनाई जहां पे आज ही इनफैक्ट स्कूल टीचर कश्मीरी हिंदू और डोगरा हिंदू मिस रजनी बाला हैज बीन शॉट इन द हेड पिक्ड आउट एंड शॉट इन द हेड एवरी डे देर आर सम परसिक्यूशन दर आर हैपनिंग नंबर टू आपकी सरकार है आपके हाथ में था कि आप एंडाउमेंट टेम्पल्स एक्ट एब्रोगेट करें नहीं आप और टेम्पल्स को कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं नंबर थ्री आपके हाथ में ऐसे तहसीन भी कह रहा है कि आप प्लेस ऑफ वर्शिप एक्ट को एब्रोगेट करें नहीं आप सुप्रीम कोर्ट गए चलिए दूसरी बात है नंबर फोर तहसीन इज राइट अगर यूपी यूपी में योगी आदित्यनाथ जी चाहें तो वो वहां पे नमाज बंद करवा सकते हैं तो जो चारों पॉइंट्स मैंने कोर्ट किए चारों एक नहीं चारों गौरव जी चारों आपकी पावर है